Hi everybody, it's Andrew from Launch27 and in this video I want to show you how to manage your scheduling availability. Now to give you a quick um, idea on what that availability looks like on your booking form, um, here I am on the premium booking form and when a customer goes to pick a date that they want you to come, here I am, I'll just pick Friday, they can see the next, uh, the day that they pick and also the, the next four days from where they picked. That's just in case that you're all booked up for the day they wanted and they can see when the next available is. So here I am on Friday, April 21st. You can see that I have arrival windows as my booking spots. What an arrival window is, is that a customer will pick a time like eight o'clock and this will communicate to them that you will be arriving anytime with between 8 and 9 a.m. and that's a one hour arrival window. And you can set your arrival windows to be um, one hour, two hour, three hours, whatever you want. So I'm gonna show you how you can um, configure all of this to be however you want it to be. Okay, so here I am in my Launch27 account and to get to the page that you can manage your, your availability or uh, what we also call it spot settings, you just hover over this calendar and just click on booking availability. So I want to show you the maximum settings tab. Here, you can control whether or not you have arrival windows or specific times. So if I click on specific times, you see that all of the arrival windows went away and now we're just uh, specific times. Instead of, eight, instead of eight to nine, it's now eight o'clock. Um, you can have a combination of both. Sometimes this is useful if for example, for the first appointment of the day, you want it to be 8 a.m. and then everything after that will be arrival windows like this. So you can do it like that. Um, another thing you can do is you can, um, you can close certain days of the week. So if I wanted to close say that I'm closed on Saturday and I'm closed on Sunday, I can do that. Another thing is, um, so I, for this video, I'm gonna make everything specific times. So what I'll do is, let's say I want to make a Monday and Friday to only have morning availability. So what I can do is remove these spots here and I can say apply this these changes to Friday hit apply and now you can see that Friday was changed to be only more um, only morning availability and um, so now I'm going to go ahead and save one last thing I want to show you is how you can adjust the actual number of spots you have available for any given time slot so let's say for example on uh, on Tuesday I want to set that I'm not available at 8 a.m. I can do that here and 8 a.m. would now be unavailable. So click Save Changes and I'll show you what this looks like on the booking form. Okay, here I am on the booking form. If I go back down and look at Friday again, see that here my morning availability, like how I change it, is only for 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Saturday and Sunday, I'm closed with no spots like um, like I did in the settings. Also, Monday is only for morning for 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. And Tuesday is missing the 8 a.m. spot that I set to have zero availability. And next thing I want to show you is how do you change your availability for a specific date, not just your um, your general settings. Okay, so here I am back on my spot settings page. I wanna click on daily settings and I want to go ahead and change for Friday the 21st to um, for 10 a.m. to not be available anymore. And I just do that by clicking on this lock. That means I'm gonna prevent anybody from booking into that spot. That's what the lock means. And if you unlock it, that means just people can book into it and you lock it, they can't. So just click save changes and here's gonna ask if you to confirm your changes that you wanna lock that spot. Just confirm it. And now I'll show you what that looks like on the booking form. All right, so I'm gonna go back and choose Friday the 21st. 
and now you see that only 8 a.m. is available. That's about it. So if you have any questions, please contact us at support at launch27.com. Thanks.